Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's MCQ is pretty simple. It's about the reaction of alkyne. So you can see this is the alkyne. More specifically, if I say it's terminal alkyne or you may consider its name as one hexyne. So its reaction in three step and four options are provided. So you have to say what is the major product of this reaction and among these four options, one of them is the right answer. In this context, I request you students please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. Don't hesitate whether your answer will be right or wrong because remember self-evaluation is essential for improvement and that's why you should try. I believe you have tried by yourself so it's my turn to give you the right answer. Student, this reactant one hexane is pretty simple molecule and that's why our focus should be on this N-butyl lithium with dry ether. So in this case, you can see this N-butyl lithium can act as either base or by nucleophile. Now question, if you look at this molecule, it has a S peace carbon hydrogen bond and we know that increasing S character the acidity of the bond increases means this carbon hydrogen bond. So what happens first step is the proton obstruction by this butane butyl group this proton and in this way a lithium exchange reaction will happen. This alkanyl lithium will be produced and along with that it produce butane okay. So from one butyl lithium reagent, we will get another butyl lithium reagent. You can see here. So, this is actually sp carbon ion, you can consider. So, this sp carbon ion will expect it to react in AlCl3 because this AlCl3, if you look at student, this aluminium is plus 3 oxidation state and attached to 3 chlorine. So, this is actually a 6 electron species. So it needs two more electrons to get the octet field. So for that purpose, this acts as Lewis acid. And in this case, this carbon ion, this sp carbon ion act as a Lewis base. So it can attack. So first it will make an acid base adduct where aluminium have the eight electron in its outermost valence shell. So you may consider these like, so this is the so this is student, this is this uh, carbon ion attached to C4H9, fine. And this side actually 3Cl, fine. And right now aluminum is having a formal negative charge because this alkenyl carbon ion attack this aluminum center, fine. But still this negative charge on aluminum is not that much stable also. That's why what happens, that's that's why what happens this Cl will be substituted fine. So in this way it will substitute it and ultimately it will produce this part I am writing as R. So R A L C L 2 because of similar reason these two Cl will be substituted using same method and ultimately it will produce this tri alkynyl aluminium. Why I am saying alkynyl? Because this group is the alkynyl and terminal alkyne is directly attached to these aluminium. Right now this sp carbon aluminium is means this bond is produced. Okay. Now aluminium has relatively more covalent character compared to lithium because lithium is group 1 element and this aluminium is group 13 element and this carbon aluminium bond has relatively less polar in nature means more covalent character you may consider. So in this context what happens it react with this tertiary butyl chloride and ultimately it produces it produces this carbon carbon bond. What do I mean this CC bond is produced. Now question how this happened because we know this tertiary carbon centers can't participate in SN2. It can participate only in SN1. Question how SN1 is happening here. For that purpose first these lone pair of electron from chlorine coordinates with aluminium and in this way the aluminium became student tetra coordinated because this aluminium is also 6 electron species. So this aluminium is also so it can act as Lewis acid. So in this case what it will produce? It will produce 
obviously these alkynyl so c4 fine c4 h9 now along with that this is one aluminium and it is attached to this chlorine attached to this now this is a coordinate covalent bond how this lone pair of chlorine is donated now because of this coordination you can see this chlorine will have a formal positive charge aluminium will have a formal negative charge so obviously this part is thrice in the next step what you can expect that this carbon chlorine bond means this bond will be broken why because the product if you look at in this case the product is aluminium attached to chlorine that thing is very good so here aluminium attached to this chlorine and in this case three alkynyl okay let's consider this part so r no problem so this is uh, three cl aluminium is having a negative charge and along with that it produces tertiary butyl carbocation we know that tertiary butyl carbocation is relatively more stable because of 3 plus i effect and 9 hydrogens from this 3 methyl group which is responsible for hyperconjugation. So this is relatively stabilized. So carbocation is produced which is relatively stable and right now aluminium is carrying a negative charge and it has a carbon aluminium bond and in this context this carbon atom can act as nucleophile delta minus fine. Now if you compare this lithium carbon means this this reagent it is more nucleophilic the charge density on this carbon is relatively more but this in this case this aluminium case the covalency is more it is milder reagent but still it's carbonyl in nature so what it does so in this case you can accept that this carbon bond can act this carbon aluminium means carbon ion can attack here and it produces this cc bond okay so you may consider this an SN1 type of reaction now I guess you can understand why and how the substitution reaction happened by this trialkyl aluminium center now previously we have learned that these tertiary halides are prone to elimination and we have used a carbon negative carbon ion type intermediate so that case elimination didn't happen substitution or SN1 happened but if you take sodium salt of acetylide means this is also terminal alkyne these results in elimination reaction so this carbon and abstract this proton it produces it leaves and it produces this isobutene means alkene and along with this acetylene now why this is because student just compare in this case this is thrice aluminium versus sodium so this is now it is also delta negative I agree but but these covalent character between carbon and aluminium has significantly higher covalent character I, I mean but this is more ionic in nature first of all so it means that more charge density on carbon if carbon have more charge density that's why it's more reactive so that's why it has act as strong base and for that reason it abstract this proton and result in this elimination product okay whereas since this carbon aluminium bond is pretty stable and covalent in nature so that's why through SN1 reaction pathway it results in substitution so I guess you can understand that in this case this sodium acetylide is actually a hard nucleophile that's why it results in elimination whereas previously the magnesium reagent is softer nucleophile so that's why it resulted in SN1 reaction so so what will be the product in this reaction in this reaction the product is option B is the right answer now if this question is appeared in your exam less than 30 second how can you conclude the right answer now for that purpose I believe you need to focus on the reagent step wise first is n butyl lithium obviously lithium salt second tri aluminium trichloride so remember any carbon nucleophile can replace these aluminium chlorine all but it should be hard nucleophile so here trialkyl aluminium will be produced that's true so if trialkyl aluminium is produced third step is this chloride fine so in this case student it two option possible 
two option possible you can consider that one part will be that it will produce the reactant one hexyme fine and it will produce this alkyne alkene or this sn1 means carbon carbon bond formation did i provide any example where these one this butene is produced okay so these is not produced nowhere mentioned so this is gone and in case of this alkyne it will be unaffected so no reaction you may consider so that option is also not here so you can understand that elimination is not happening here rather than there is an another chance because car this sp carbon aluminum bond is more covalent so this is possible point number one if you think this from a different angle that it attached to this allylic position this allylic position how did i made any hallucination those thing or second thing you can say that sir carbon ion could be produced here if you treat one hexane with butyl lithium allylic carbon ion production is impossible so this is gone how nucleophilic attack on means this is true that it can attack but this triple bond should be intact it reduced that's an illogical option and this is also its trans isomer so this is also not possible so if you do not have that idea that for aluminum carbon can make sn1 but still based on these choices in mcq you can come up to the right answer by means proper selection elimination logical understanding so for that purpose you need proper knowledge so i believe you have understand how to come to the right answer by less time now in conclusion what you have learned today that terminal alkyne carbon hydrogen sp bond is significantly acidic due to enhanced s character because in fit it has a 50% s character and 50% p character whereas if you look at sp3 in this case uh, in this case 75% p and only 25% s okay remember that tertiary butyl halides are prone to elimination it's true but they can also undergo sn1 reaction for that purpose of stabilization or removal of halide in this case is essential and that is done that is done by aluminum here and remember here if you want to follow that sn1 pathway stabilization of carbocation is essential and here the tertiary butyl carbocation is relatively stable the sodium or lithium group 1 group 1 salts carbon ions are relatively more stronger base or nucleophile in nature means obviously it could be sp3 means butyl lithium or sp like this one hexane trialkyl aluminum alkynyl aluminum so the covalent character in this case the carbon aluminum bond is more in case uh, in case of this aluminum carbon bond compared to its alkali metal analog because aluminum belongs to group 13 and whereas sodium this lithium belongs to group 1 and another important point is that aluminum is six electron species so it can act as lewis acid and uh, that may be means that may be responsible for this removal of halide because this halide coordination with this six electron species aluminum resulted stabilization and this is a method for the conversion of terminal alkyne into internal alkyne i believe you have seen it internal alkyne so this could be another method too but generally for that purpose we select these alkyl halide that should be less bulky but this example is little exceptional that more bulky could also be possible via this aluminum means alkyl aluminum intermediate formation so this is the end of this question i believe this video may be useful if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow and write your opinion in the comment box thank